Okay. Sophie, what are we going to draw today? A mountain with lakes. Oh, mountain with lakes. Okay. Now, here we go. Here you can see the... Oh, it's beautiful. It's, uh, afternoon sunset is about to be to start so we're gonna have a beautiful sunset maybe and there you can find the uh, Kelowna bridge right over there let's start okay. coloring and there I brought a snack for me over here at the front of Canadian Lake specifically at Knox Mountain how are you Nathan? Good. Oh, it's fun walking yeah, how about you, Sophie? Did you enjoy climbing here? No, because I almost fainted. My legs almost fainted. Altitude sickness. Uh, altitude sickness. You have that altitude sickness? You feel dizzy when you're up here? Yeah, and before when we took our pictures, it feels like the stairs are going low, low. Oh, uh, okay. Head. No worry, you're gonna enjoy. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy because we're gonna draw mountains. Okay, so these are the mountains that uh, surround most of the Okanagan Lake. Actually, Okanagan Lake is approximately 90 kilometers long. And we are specifically in the city of Kelowna, here at Knox Mountain, the top of Knox Mountain. A lot of people come here every uh, weekend, even though uh, it's a little bit cloudy today, but lots of people are enjoying here right now. Oh, we're lucky. This Beautiful city day. Tour. It's a city tour, Nathan said. And and some people don't go here that much like before because of the fire. So what we need is um, pencil crayons or anything to draw with. And you need a marker, like something black so you can see it well. And you need a piece of paper and you need something hard to draw on or else your flat will like make it with the paper ring. Okay, thank you Nathan. Okay, so let's go into our drawing now. Okay, let's start from the middle. You draw a slanting line going upward like this. I don't okay. know how to do that. And then going down. It's not necessarily to be a straight line because most of the mountains doesn't have a straight or smooth it line bumpy here, right? It's bumpy pointy. Yeah, it's yeah. bumpy and pointy. Or Mount Everest. Okay, let's make another mountain. And, uh, yeah, it's curve, curve. There you go. I like it. Yeah, oh, let's look at Sophie's uh, drawing. Oh, very good, Sophie. Looks like a chocolate heels. Yeah, not really, but I like your drawing too. Nita knows so. Okay, Mount next, let's draw the lake. Now with that lake, we're gonna draw a line right before, uh, below these two mountains here. Not really a straight line, that, but just draw a line here. Ooh, I'm gonna make it wavy. There you go. That's good. Keep going. There you go. That's better. I'm gonna connect them. Wow, look at that. Looks realistic. Next. Let's draw a line from this point here. Here? Yeah, but this time it will not be parallel to this line, but let's do it this way. Can't see it. Going towards that corner here. Okay. Oh, nice. That's good. That's bad. It looks okay. So, this will be our two mountains, and this is the Okanagan Lake. Now, Let's add more details on it. Let's add a foreground. Like more more okay. details here. Let's draw some rocks here. Rocks from the ground. There you go. You can draw that selfie also. Very simple, right? Okay, and maybe right here. Let's make us a, a little hill here. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks like a beach. Yeah, it looks like a beach. Oh, maybe we, we will just continue this. Let, let this reach the corner here. Next, let's draw some trees here. Let's draw some trees here. Oh, I know. Because we trees. see a lot of trees there, right? Okay. Now, in drawing trees, very simple. You just make it like this. I can, can I teach mm -hmm. them? Please. See that? 
I want to do my own way. Yeah, you can do your own way if you like. But this is the simplest way to draw trees. Well, this is the now, let's make another group of branches here in this side. There you go. I think I'll just make two trees. Yeah, maybe another branch here. And then let's put the trunk of the tree. Let's start from the, from here. Let's go down. Make a straight line. No, not, not really a straight line there. Start from here. Make this a little bit wider here at the bottom. I've done my trees. Yeah. I did a lot of trees and okay. it looks really This one, very simple. You just throw a line. That here. This one is really easy for... Maybe let's divide this. Okay. Let's draw a pine tree. A pine tree here. Can you help me? Decide. Let's start from, from this line here. Here? Yeah. You make a slanting straight line. One. I can't. Just like how you draw a Christmas tree there. Oh. See? Okay. Then slanting oh. out uh, inside. Let's done. go out. And then do it the same out. way. Then put it in the middle. Okay. And okay. you're gonna draw a smaller tree, so it looks like That's it's better. Away. I'll put a branch now or what? Alright. Okay, done. that's good. Okay, now they're on the other side. The yeah. same thing. You don't have to do the, oh, the same coloring yeah. um, drawings. You can do other ones like this. Okay, and animals. then the light will meet the other line here. And can you put this. Can I make a deer? Can I make a deer? Yeah, yeah later. Yes, yeah, we can put anything. We're gonna put some birds on this, some birds here later, and maybe a sun because it's sun is coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. clouds. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll add more trees here. Let's put a tree here. It's nice to see if we have a tree on the top of the hill here. I'm gonna make a maple tree. Okay, let's do another pine tree here. Okay. okay. I'm gonna make one like a maple tree. I'm gonna put one like here, then that, and then put one here. After drawing that tree, we need to make a shadow tree here at the bottom very simple just do like that okay see that Sophie let's just make a shadow here that's all right okay, same with this one here there's a shadow there we're gonna draw a sun here okay now let's draw the sun Okay, let's draw the sun. Oh, like a sunset? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> really quick, sorry. Okay, very simple. Let's just do it like this way. Ooh. There you go. I think I accidentally made my sideways. Yeah, it's sunset. Now, put the sun That's rays. Accident. You can put the sun rays. How do you put this? How do you do the sun rays? Make it this way. Sun rays? Yeah. My sun rays are like this. That yeah. looks like a bridge. And since this sun also gives sunlight to the lake, let's do, let's do the reflection of the sun. Okay. This is how you do the reflection. Look at me. Ooh. Done. Yeah, from sm smaller. This is mine. From narrow to wide. Got it? Yeah. Okay. This time we're gonna add more trees if you like. You can add more trees on the side of the lake here. Sophie and Nathan. Okay, so let's add more trees. Now we're gonna color our mountains first. Grab a green color. Okay. 
when you color mountain should be this stroke I put the reflection of the sun here on the lake by using this yellow pen because the this sun would be yellow later. Oh, so it's done already. Okay. And I'm done this side. Okay, let's I do the sand first. I'm gonna finish by rainbow. Yeah. Including the sun rays there. 